change okay, is equal to hard work, to the power of commitment, plus organization, minus obstacles. So that is the equation that must inspire us. We are here for change. I've met some really, really incredible people. I'm so happy with the group of people we've pulled together here. And we must be committed to working together. It's an open process. Our, what unites us is the desire for change, the desire to be teaching our young minds a better economics, an economics that they find inspiring, an economics that empowers them, economics that's relevant to them, an economics that resonates with them. And that's what pulls us together. And we mustn't underestimate the power of a group of people committed to something to achieve that over time. I should have put time into the equation, I suppose. It was, very implicit. It was implicit. So, <laughs> yeah. So, as we go forward, um, there's a few things we must do. I, I work with, um, to, with to-do lists. I don't know if any of you keep lists of what you should do. So, please put core on your curriculum reform on your to-do list. Let's all agree. It will all be on your lists from here on in. Um, I'll have it on my list. It's been on my list for a bit of time now, and I'm very happy that this workshop has come together. It's an important milestone along the journey. I can tick off the workshop is now done, and now the work can begin. And what kind of work should there be? Well, we must make sure that this uh, workshop is properly recorded. I will be sending you a link within the next couple of weeks so that you can go and look at it and see how to make use of that. All of these statements mustn't just disappear into the ether must be properly recorded, we can refer back to it. There's some really good discussion. Every one of these groups and previously have said interesting things. Um, I think we have agreed um, that we should develop a road map to um, put together a South African, or we'll decide whether it's wider than South African, adaptation of the core text. And a group of people will work on that. And those who are interested, let me know. We must work together on that and find a way to achieve that. Colette had a great idea that we should put this on the ESSA conference agenda. Please, will you help with that? Because ESSA meets again next year. So if we don't see each other before then, let's infiltrate a committee where we discuss <laughs> curriculum reform at the ESSA conference. You can put on your to-do list. Okay, find out. And we, I think uh, Yanni might be involved. I think that uh, they were just having a meeting about it. But just as an example, we should use that process to meet again, because it's not always easy to meet. It takes a while for us to get together. That could be a place to meet. Um, and we'll just discuss our agenda at that process. Um, even at our own institutions as well, we must all go back and do work. Older myself and everywhere, I mean, there's people here from five or six universities. We had different, um, we had different stages of implementation. I think UCT is really, uh, UP was leading the way and they've had their ups and downs. But I think you've inspired us, I think, with the, the way you've got your whole department to buy into it. You've had your vote, and now you're implementing. I mean, it's really something to be, to be proud of from the UCT side. I think it's showing us the way the rest of us are doing our thing. And I'm inspired now to work harder to make sure that our pilot project is a success. Our tutors are part of the program. We meet with them early in the new year. We get them to be part of this program. Same with you guys at Stellenbosch and UJ. You come up with your institutional level plans on your to-do list at my university. What am I going to do to take this forward? Um, I've got everybody's contact details here. We will stay in contact, report from this workshop, output from this workshop, and we, we just work together. I, I'm really happy with how the last two days have progressed. It has met up with my expectations. We, we spoke in detail of how do we teach this to big classes? How do we teach this in our institutions? And lots of good ideas. Today we decided to be the change we want to see. We want to change this curriculum. I remember standing watching the students, Mzonele and his comrades, telling us to decolonize the curriculum. And I thought, this has to happen. You know, we, we has to happen. And how do you make this happen? You've got to bring people together to make it happen. And this is what we're trying to do now. Um, so that's really my few words on this. I don't want to open it for wide discussion at this stage. I think we've got all a lot to do and a lot to think about. I'd like to thank you all for committing a day and a half of our busy lives to those students who read, even though it was a holiday. I'm very impressed with you. Thank you very much. And, 
and to Riza and his team for coming up from UCT, for the team from UJ, the team from Stellenbosch, the team from UKZN, and Jessica, thank you for giving a paper here, the team from WITS, the team from University of Pretoria, is he? Stellenbosch? Did I say Stellenbosch? Okay. Did I miss anybody? Um, the Reefer students, Rethinking Economics for Africa. You, you really had a huge impact on this workshop. I'm really, really happy to have met some of you. I've known some of you from before. I'm proud to, I wish we could have brought Reefer students from all the campuses here. Um, we need students to be part of this discussion. And you guys made a great, if the lecturers at WITS aren't that good, at least we know the students are really good. <laughs> and you stood out. So thank you for that. It was really good to, to have your contribution. And thank you, Bandila and others, Kamal. And that. So I think if I've left anybody out, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's not because I didn't respect or thank you for your input. I just couldn't recall what you had be, uh, done while you were here. Most importantly, Wendy and Sam have traveled even further than Cape Town. Sam has come from the Santa Fe Institute. I don't know where that is, in America somewhere. Um, <laughs> I'll have to look at a map. Which side of America is it on? The farthest side. The farthest side, in California. No, New Mexico. New Mexico, there you go. They're building a wall. <laughs> yeah. so, so, New Mexico, thank you, Sam, for coming. Um, and Wendy's come also from London. And, by, uh, and she's, I, when, I, when she told me her leg was broken, I thought, wow, um, how do I say this? You really have to come, Wendy. <laughs> but I thought it would be impolite. So I said, I feel very bad for you. I'm so sorry. Um, what are your plans? <laughs> and she, she made it. I mean, it's quite remarkable if you think about how uncomfortable it is to travel such a distance and to come with a broken leg. Wendy, thank you. Your, your contribution has been wonderful and to have you here. So I'd like to close off. Thank you to all the speakers, to all the attendees. Thank you. Um, and we'll do this again sometime. <laughs>